as new, what is the uh, reason for so much debate around these two words? Uh, and there's, there's a huge amount of debate around what as new means. Um, and what the real difficulty is that uh, in many cases to put something back to an as new condition is, is a very expensive exercise. Um, and I guess um, there's a lot of disagreement because an insurer's uh, an insurer's objective is to meet the policy terms in a way that's as cost effective as possible. Uh, whereas of course the homeowner wants the best repair they can possibly get. So there's, there's a natural tension in there. Um, so when a homeowner sees the words as new, um, they quite understandably think of essentially a brand new house or a brand new element. Um, and in a sense that's what they're entitled to. Whereas what the insurer does is they come and they say, how do we restore this house? And sometimes it must be said that um, some insurance uh, adjusters and uh, engineers and, and so on, builders, kind of look at a house and think, well, what we really want to do is put this house back to how it was before the earthquake, not when it was new. So there is a real tension there. Now, there are interpretations and discussions to be had because things are built differently now, particularly in Christchurch, that we have different ways of building that we have found are better. It is reasonable for those to be recognised when you discuss as new. At the same time, there are things that are intrinsic in a home that need to be replicated. I know, for example, that there are issues with people that have had, say, uh, native timber floorboards and not necessarily being able to get them back um, as they were if, for example, they were carpeted over or not. Can you just explain a bit about um, the issues there? There's a couple of things in the policy, in, in most insurance policies, almost all insurance policies, and are probably just worth mentioning them. The first is the as new, and that's about the quality of the repair. The second is that most policies have something akin to using modern materials and methods, and that's about how we go about making those repairs. And the third thing is uh, compliance with modern building standards, and sometimes called a regulatory upgrade clause. And they're three quite distinct things. The conflicts that exist are around the function, the style, and even the colour that influences as new. And that each claim will have its own separate parts that needs to be discussed. That if you have a floor, and they are often the hot topics, if you have a floor that is has vinyl tiles on it, then it is important that the floor, when it is put back, is sufficient to have vinyl tiles put on it again. It doesn't matter as to what the floor is necessarily made of, but it must be able to support the covering that goes on top of it. Now, that question extends into exposed floorboards, which is often a hot topic that needs to be discussed. Clearly, if you have a home that has exposed, well cared for remu or native timber floorboards, then that is part of the house. That is essentially your floor covering. If they are covered, then that is not as easily answered. And that while initially it would appear that you just need to have a floor underneath that would be able to support the carpet, then it may be that you are suffering loss because you haven't got that element in your house any longer. And those things need to be discussed. At this time, it is a reasonable expectation that insurers have been well schooled in training their staff to be able to have that discussion without both parties cementing their position and setting down for battle. What about the specific wording of as new? Because I know some policies say as new, some policies say as when new. Uh, there are different policy wordings and it, it is um, pretty clear that as new and, and when new are different because the court in the recent case of uh, medical assurance in East uh, said that, well if that uh, when new uh, means the standard to which it was actually built. So if you had a poor quality build when it was new, then that's what you get in your reinstatement. But as new means as it would be built new today. So there is a little bit of difference in that. It, 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 probably not material in most cases, but 
conceivably a little bit of difference. And is there a difference between uh, as new for insurers and as new for EQC, or does EQC even have an as new policy? EQC's uh, policy, if you like, is essentially the EQC Act. And the EQC Act says you must reinstate, uh, but then tucked away in, in one of the schedules it talks about reinstatement not exactly, but reasonably and sufficiently. Nowhere in the EQC Act does it use words to the effect of as new. So one of the real problems we have is that EQC comes and looks at an issue and they take the view that they've got to reinstate reasonably and sufficiently, um, which itself is a very vague standard. Um, there is a good argument to say that in light of the framework of the Act and how it interfaces with insurers, it should be the same as a reinstatement standard that an insurer applies, but that's certainly not the approach of EQC. What can residents and homeowners do um, if they are concerned about their insurer saying that something is going to be as new and they, they disagree with that? What has developed over the four years since the earthquakes is the support that is available for the insured, that they can look for that through CS, RAS, or they can engage professional support through their lawyer or through an insurance professional. And that's, if they're looking for support, that's what you should do. That those who are good at their profession will be able to engage in a mature, adult, excellent discussion with the insurance company to understand what the issue is and how it can be resolved. Because you've got to find a solution. That it can't just sit there and nothing happen. At some point, you've got to find a solution. After the break, I speak with Terry Jordan from the Insurance Council about private insurer progress on settling earthquake claims. <laughs> 